Hey YouTube, this is one of my latest purchases. Um, I've purchased a few new cast iron items lately, and this is a 5 inch camp Dutch oven. It, uh, it has the, uh, got the legs underneath it, supposedly so you can put charcoal, and it has the uh, lipped lid for charcoal. Um, I think this is a um, five inch Dutch oven is probably around a half a quart to three quarters of a quart capacity. Um, things that are different about it is is the legs are really short. They're probably only three quarters of an inch, which is actually too short to get charcoal under. So, um, and the other thing about it is is, this li is the lid doesn't have a, a, a handle on the lid. Um, like a normal Dutch oven would have where you could hook it. Um, this one doesn't. It just has this little wedge-shaped lip. And it's really kind of meant for you to just grab with your fingers, but if you're, co if you're cooking with charcoal, of course, you're not going to want to, even with an oven mitt, you're not going to want to reach down there and grab that with hot charcoal around it. As you can see, I've drilled a hole in this lip here. I, I used a 3 16 drill bit, and then I made a handle out of number 9 wire. And basically, it's not really a handle, it's just a lid lifter. It's just this T-shaped handle with a hook. And then I can uh, see if I can do this left-handed. And then you can lift your lid off. So, that's what I came up with to be able to lift the lid off this little Dutch oven when I got charcoal on it. Okay. My next problem has to do with the charcoal does not fit under. That's Kingsford charcoal, and it is the closest to fitting. And that is what I normally use is Kingsford charcoal. Um, of course, this is a about the biggest you can find, some off-brand. And it is way different from fitting under there. So, first of all, this ain't going to work. Kingsford, real close. I think I can make that work. So what I've got is this is just 5 16 nuts. This is one size bigger than quarter. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick each one of these legs on one of these. And they'll stick in just a little bit in that hole and uh, but it'll lift it up enough for the charcoal so let me go ahead and uh, stick these under there all right now we've got just the feet sitting on these 5 16 nuts and that just raised it up enough that now i can get this kingsford charcoal under there so now i should be able to fit three pieces of kingsford charcoal underneath this dutch oven so it can cook properly now i should be able to at least fit four to five pieces on the top of the dutch oven so now i believe that i'm ready to go so, now let's go find something to cook. Okay, it's been a half an hour now. The, the sun went down, so it got dark here, so I got a lantern on it. Check these potatoes. They look hot. Oh yeah, they're done. So... Well, I've been cooking on this Dutch oven now for, oh, I think this is about the seventh time I've cooked in it. Uh, I'm trying to perfect the uh, biscuits in it, actually. I can see a little bit of steam coming out. It should be done. And what I've got is I've got three coals, and each is slid halfway underneath um, the Dutch oven. And then on top, I think I've got basically around seven coals. i got a little couple broken little pieces here but about seven coals on top and hoping that the biscuits are going to look good so let me just go ahead and take some of this coals off of here grab and get some hook handle let's see what the biscuit looks like just got one grand flaky biscuit in here and there it is. Looks good. So let me get it out and let's see what the bottom of it looks like. So here's a closer look at the biscuit we just cooked in the 5 inch Dutch oven. The top is nice and browned. And the bottom. The bottom is just uh, perfect. So there you go. That is 
five inch Dutch oven from Camp Chef. And if you're just a solo camper, this could be uh, definitely very useful for making uh, one person meals. This is the way I just love cooking in this thing. I just got a bunch of potatoes and uh, smoked sausage in here. Throw it together and cook it up. It's kind of like making a foil packet without uh, using the foil. Just throw everything together and cook it. Here, let me show you how much this little pot can, can cook. As you can see, that little bitty pot can make one full plate full of food. So I think it's perfect for one person. Thanks for watching.